Open them wide and I'm going to give you the secret to my success. So everybody, just open up your flowers right and just sort of lay them across the table like this. Cut your rubber bands off, open them up, Oop, nice and loose. Like that. Here you go. These are roses. I'm sure you know that. Most of you are familiar with these. By the time you're done in class, you're going to know um, all the important flowers you need to work with. I know people are very, one of the things that makes them very nervous is they think they need to know every flower in the flower market. No, you need to know the basics, the ones that we work with all the time. And then you can learn the, the fancy ones we throw in that are seasonal. But a lot of flowers that you see on the markets, they don't hold up very well in real life, so we don't, we're going to teach you not to use those because no matter how beautiful your design is, if your designs are only lasting a day or two, your clients will not come back to you, right? No. You're right. You don't go back to a florist. If, yeah. it, right. So we're going to teach you how to get flowers to last in two and three weeks. So first of all, how do you get flowers to last three times as long? People come into my... Um, People used to come in my flower shop all the time and they'd say, you know those flowers I bought two weeks ago? And I would say, yes. And they'd say, are they ever gonna die? <laughs> and I would say, be patient, my child. So how do you get flowers to last longer? Number one, if you want them to last really long, submerge the whole thing underwater in a, in a sink or a tub or whatever. Underwater, bloop, I told this on Martha Stewart Radio the other day, bloop, 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 bloop. Underwater, and the water will enter through the bark, the surface, the leaves. What flowers do is this drink and evaporate out the surface, right? So you hydrate them that way instead of through the stems. Uh, the second thing to do is uh, buy a product called Crowning Glory. It's by Floralife. It's a spray. We're going to have some today that you spray on. It's wax in a bottle. You spray it on, and it, and it seals the surface so that your flowers can't dehydrate. Number two. Number three, put some bleach in the water. Three or four drops of bleach in an average vase will stop the bacteria growth from killing this. Uh, number four, cut a few inches off every three or four days. Because even with the bleach, it still, it still develops bacteria. So the more, uh, every once in a while, I'll cut it off. But I'm telling you, these are all water with a little color on top, just like you are. That's why your doctor tells you to drink eight glasses of water a day. <laughs> water is life. The more water you put in these, the longer they're going to live. Got it? So the longer you can keep them hydrated, the longer that the flowers will last. So uh, that crowning glory, though, I'm telling you, it, it's Elaine Matashita, the Chicago Tribune, called me and said, what's the number one thing you couldn't live without professionally? And I said, you've never heard of it. It's called Crowning Glory, sent her a bottle. She uh, tested it and put it on the front page of the Chicago Tribune as the hot picked with all these arrows. Not a picture of me, <laughs> not a picture of the bug. Of a plastic bottle of Crowning Glory is the hot pick to buy at the Navy Pier show. Because it really works. We're going to have some here. We'll get some here in a minute. All right? So your first project is called uh, Classic European Hand Tie Bouquet. Hand me that odd orange looking thing. This is called a rose stripper. Here's what you do first. You hold your rose by the top and you pull this down loosely. You are not, I repeat, not removing the thorns. If you do, you're going to let air into the bark. You're just knocking off the very tip that hurts and the leaves. So leave the top section of leaves on and just pull like that. It's called a rose tripper. What a modern device, huh? So first thing you're going to do is clean those roses so that it doesn't hurt when you work with them. So it's removing the, the leaves that cause the bacteria. All right. So. All right, you ready? I'm going to show you the secret to my success. Everybody watching? OK. Want to see it again? Put everything down. I'm going to design three times, and then you're, they're all going to follow me, right? I'll show you the secret to my success one more time. That's all you got to do to have gorgeous flowers all the time. Nope. Put nothing in your head. That's the only thing is when I'm designing, I'm going to do it two or three times, and then you'll do it. I'll say, let's see it. So you got to watch really closely. Any lefties in the house? Any righties? Anything else? You mix. We have. We get those. That's very good for your brain. I was reading yesterday at, at Laguna Beach. A guy wrote a book on that. 
Right, so watch how I do this. I'm gonna hold it in my left hand. I'm gonna, your mantra is cross to the left, turn it slightly to the right. Pick up another flower. Everything in my shop was sold this way, which is why I was so successful. Cross to the left, turn to the right. Again, you're holding it about three-fourths of the way up. You cross to the left, turn to the right. It's just a European styling, just meant to arrange flowers in a nice manner to present to somebody. It's not meant to be perfect. I'm gonna show you how to do perfect bouquets on Wednesday's class, but right now we're just cross to the left, turn to the right. See it? Lay it on top of the easiest way is lay it right in that hand, open that hand, and turn to the left. I'm gonna do it this way so you can see a little bit easier. Cross to the left, turn to the right. The one thing you don't wanna do is stick it real high up or stick it real low. You want it right there. Cross to the left, turn to the right. I'm telling you, this made me the money in my shop. You'll see why in a minute. Cross to the left, turn to the right. We're gonna do different flowers. We've got some domestic, some uh, Holland. We've got uh, uh, mums, we've got stock, we've got your roses, so I'm cross to the left, turn to the right. Every time you add a flower, you've gotta switch it into your other hand and give it a little turn, about a quarter of a turn every time. Cross to the left, turn to the right. Let's add some lilies. Cross to the left, turn to the right. Got it? Now watch what happens. Cross to the left, turn to the right. You're gonna add everything on your table into your hand, and you're gonna say, my hands aren't big enough. Well, guess what? They're gonna stretch. They'll actually stretch two inches today. Wait, no, <laughs> no, they will actually, uh, my hands don't even go around this, right? So, cross to the left, spin to the right. You just keep adding. We used to talk while making these. I don't even have to watch what I'm doing. It'll turn out. So how long did it take you to get here today? Um, almost 30 minutes. Almost 30 minutes. Where do you live? Oh, really? From there? Oh, my God. So, Crossing and spinning, crossing and spinning. If you're in a hurry, take two stems. You got a couple of customers lined up at the front desk. It's pretty already, right? Cross to the left, turn to the right. Cross to the left. Jennifer, can you find me some wires? Cross to the left, turn to the right. Very simple motion. You get as much in your hand as you can. And give me some of uh, our filler. I'm gonna collar it. This is your first uh, term of the semester. We're gonna collar this design. This is uh, uh, like a wax flower. It's a nice, see how that's, I'm collaring. Collaring simply means just to finish your design. So we're gonna collar it with a little bit of that, like that, just go around the outside. And then, when you've got everything in your hand that you can fit, like that, you're gonna take your wire and you're gonna wire your bouquet. Also very easy. Everything in flower school is very easy. So, now that we've collared our design, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna take two or three pieces of wire. We're gonna drop it in the middle of our bouquet. See that finger right there? It's saying, hello, hello there. Wave your finger, I wanna hear it. You're gonna surround your wires like this. You're gonna reach around and pull. And you're gonna stand with your hand on your hip <laughs> to show that you're now in charge of the flowers. They're no longer running away from you, got it? And you're gonna reach under your hand like this and watch what happens. See how I'm doing this? I reach under like this and I spin my flowers. What, what am I doing? I'm letting the weight of the flowers tighten this bouquet. And when you're done, you're gonna have that. Then, now you can clean all this off. I once did this for the art museum. The Calatrava Art Museum. Uh, find that picture in the book and show everybody that uh, white lilies. I think it's 128. Now you're gonna squeeze together your stems. Can I have, use your clippers, my dear? And it's called, I call it cut the asparagus. You're gonna squeeze them together like this. If this is the crown, at least that much distance down, you're gonna do this. It's in the book, it's chapter one. You're gonna cut through them like that, right? How hard is that? Then you're gonna pick it up and you're gonna squeeze it. See how I'm squeezing its waist, like gain an inch? Right there, see that? That's what we did for the art museum in Milwaukee. All white Casablanca lilies standing on their stems on the tables all day long. And the women said to me, Michael, we love it, but it won't last. Everybody knows flowers needs water, so I had to tell them the story about sealing it with crowning glory, and it'll be fine. Now you're gonna pinch it like this and you're gonna tap it. And you're gonna focus on the middle of the bouquet, driving it up. 
And after you tap it like that, it's going to open up into a beautiful bouquet. These are great in fall to be standing on your dining room table. Then you clean off all the stems and wrap a piece of ribbon around it and have streamers coming down your table. Got it? Or you would wrap it up in tissue paper and walk out to your customer and go, there you go, that'll be $47.50 <laughs> or whatever he spent. Okay, see how that works? Boom.